Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. This video was supposed to get out early this morning when I'm all by myself, but I had the wonderful surprise last night of having my grandchildren overnight. So guess who's in my craft room today? Hi! <laughs> It's Olivia. Yes, yeah, she's back. It's been a long time. Actually, Christmas time, eh, Olivia? No, I Since we did no. a video, we did, um... It was earlier. Or before Christmas? No, or after. after. Was after. it? What did we do? Um, we did... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it was well, like in January. It was the rack packs. We were working on the rack packs. No, it was in the summer, remember? It was so hot out. We were up here sweating to death? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we had to right. leave. Okay. So today, Olivia wants to join me in using the um, oil pastels. And she's going to give it a go with me. And these are like $6. These are not high-grade pastels. I want to say that right off the bat because the way I can tell if they're high-grade pastels, when you put them on your paper and you can take your finger and the oil just uh, melts into the paper. These don't do that as well. So I'm going to use the Gamsol or your odorless mineral spirits. And um, so that's what we're going to tack. So I took them all out because I like to grab it right away. And I started a card I'm going to put together here. And this was, it didn't take me long at all, did it, Olivia? No. Just a quick photo. Uh, two trees, one in the back, some foliage, some clouds. You can see the texture there. And you can get a really pretty, um, this is how I had it. You can either do it like light behind the yellow or we can switch it up and put it on the green, however you like to do it. This is a 140 pound cardstock water uh, color card from Michaels and I turned it over onto the uh, non-textured side. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to draw a flower and Olivia, or do you want to do, do you want to do another scene, Olivia, that we both do the same scene? It doesn't matter. doesn't matter because I have Maybe this, we can uh, do, both we can. do you want us to both do this one? If I set it up here and I just, uh, I was going to take my I'm not good at drawing Prisma. flowers. Um, I can't draw flowers. Okay, let's do the scene. The scene is really easy and then I'll do this on another video. You can do that one. I could do the, the trees. Do you want to give the trees a go and you'll be doing trees and I'll sure. be doing flowers? So um, you're going to start at the base, the top. Just take out your blues and we're going to go with thirds. So you imagine your... Um, painting in thirds so two-thirds of it is going to be blue and you can just you saw Nanny do that right when I was doing that card or no yes. you in here a little bit yeah, okay this morning no, okay I there's wasn't. your you weren't okay I think what we'll do is I'll do a different scene and we'll do it together so this is for a quick, easy card. You're not going to have your card this big. You're probably going to have it. I'm going to cut this down. Maybe about this two, big. Five and a half. I'll do five and a half by maybe four and a quarter. Right, yeah. just a perfect A2 size right there, and you can have a nice square size. Yours is going to be a four, almost four by four. Okay. Do you like this or this size? Which size do you want to do? Does it matter? Um, you like the long? Okay, so we'll switch. Okay. Can so I do it this way? Sure can. That's your card. So, let's grab our blue first. So, I'll take a dark blue. And if you're going to do this, this is... If you have a quick card to get out, and you have some odorless mineral spirits, um, a cloth... I took this fiber cloth because it is not a good um, cloth. No, it's not a good Warm pastel texture. for yes for the texture to do it with your finger. You would be there all day trying to rub it into the card. I want to turn it on the soft side. Uh, this has some crayon marks on it. That's okay. Do you have a sauce? Oh, I, yep, that 
This is a sausage. Oh, that was, yeah, that's a sausage. Okay, you can go over there with yours, and I will start mine. You just want to see how it comes, just like that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take as many blues as your pastel set and fill it in like this. Just fill it in. I mean, this is quick. We're going to do two-thirds of the page. And each one will look different, but they will look nice. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on one side. Just like a sun up there. And let's take some... Am I missing a blue? No? I have it. No? I thought there was... I'm going to go dark down oh, here. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right over there. I thought I did. And this is like a navy. Like so. That looks sort of like a purple, too. Yeah, probably it's has really some really dark. And then I am going to take... Olivia doesn't like to hold this fiber cloth. She doesn't like the feel of it. So what you're going to do... This would make a nice um, background for a C. Mm-hmm. Yes. It? Yeah. There you go. And it depends, like... It's not blending. You have to really give it a... Do you want to help? Put more uh, oils on it. Like, put more crayon on it. You just fill that in with more crayon. I will take uh, this blue. So, mine's really dark. That's okay. And this is just for. And if you press it really hard, see that? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Is that use bad? Your no, that's good. That's good. Because you're getting a lot of oil on there. See? Look at this. Whoa. Does that come out nice or what? What? No, I'm joking. What? <laughs> ah. mm. Okay, there you go, my love. Okay, so. That's what we have right there. That's all you need with the pastels right away. Now, to do the bottom, you're, you know you're going to need the greens and the browns. So take out some greens of your pastels. And we'll get into the coloring part of it later. I'm going to come up almost like it's a hill there. I'm going to switch this up. And you're just going to put different hues. And the heavier... You put it on there. This is more like a um, moss green. That's how I'm doing mine with kind of like a hill. I mean, you can't get any. All you have to do is grab your cardstock. I think I put. Let's grab this. Uh, this will be kind of our base. Look how it changes things out when you put it up against the green. Or you put it up against the brown. Totally different. Um, then leaving it right there on our mat. Okay, so then take your this is nice. And I mean this is like a little uh, pastel painting. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this is nice hues. Darken it up at the top. Get some of that pastel out there. Look how nice it looks on that card. Then I'm going to wrap some browns in there. Just like that. There's no rhyme nor reason. Unless you're doing it like you're actually doing a flower drawing something on it but trees are basically a tree. really good a tree mm -hmm. then I spilt some mineral spirits right there so I am going to kind of put a sun right there this is the beauty you're doing really well that Thank looks you. nice okay so we have that on there beautiful texture doesn't look like much now but it will then you're going to take your brown. Now I include, you can have, well maybe I'll jump into the clouds. This, when you have a less expensive pastel, 
Pastels don't work well piling one on top of another, like texturizing pastels. They become thick, um, oil, hard gray, to work with. hard to work with. That's it. Exactly, Olivia. Hard to work with. And you, the more you seem to put that oil, that wax on top of each other, the worse it seems to look. So um, you just don't get discouraged when you try to put this white down. It's just the way it is because it's over blue. So we're just going to put some clouds. A little sun right here will be nice. You're going to put a sun there. And you're just working round and round and round. There we go. And two, it really, you might have to take some of the paper off there. Excuse me. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have a few clouds right there. And my son's right behind it. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Look at that, Olivia. It's like the sun. That's just by the Gamsol uh, leaking out and going on the painting. Okay, so then you're going to grab some black. What are you? Oh, you've got the sun up there. Uh, do you want to do your white? And you're going to really press down on that boy. You're going to really need to get in there. And then you're going to go underneath those fluffy clouds with black. Just so that you can see some of the texture there. Take your own take your own cloth, right? And just get some of that there. And if you want it to be round, go around it with your hand, like with your cloth. There we are. That looks good. So that's where we are now. Nice little fluffy couch. You can grab some of this off-white. That's what we did before and we put a little bit on top. Clouds aren't pure white. Nope. No. There we are. If you think of, we'll have to do a vacuum. There. Isn't that pretty? I mean it is pretty. It looks like you actually took time to do a painting. For somebody. All right, so now I am going to grab a Copic marker. I am going to grab the 0 0.03 multi liner, any kind of uh, marker, and I am going to start um, maybe. I hope this isn't. You know what, Olivia? I think I'm going to grab. I don't want to. Let me try this drawing pen. Yeah, I think the oil is stopping my marker and from going. Let me grab an actual black marker. I have to go on the other side here, and we will do one marker. I use my calligraphy pen because sometimes you don't have the supplies. So I'll let you use my black marker and that's glue. Okay, so I'm just going to use the tip of my calligraphy pen to get some grass. Yes, grass. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Now make uh, them really thick. short. See yours? Uh, if you do it like this, if you hold it light and just look like this, okay. like that, because when you take your, um, make them long towards the bottom and short towards the top, like that, and then do some little ones up here. This is just, um, you can use your black, it just works out well. Make kind of like a there, a hill, and let's grab some yellow because now it's we're going to start. This is going to be the grass effect we're going to get. It's Mine not going to look horrible. No, it doesn't look horrible. There's nothing horrid. You're going to start going like this, and then you're going to wipe it out with your odorless mineral spirit. So open that up. Take your stump 
and we're just going to add some color here. Let's see. Where's the bigger one? The Try black the is one. bad. It's dominating it. Okay, excuse me. I made it too. Nice. Too black. Okay, let's see what we can do. Made it too ugly. All right. We'll dull it out like this, and then we'll use the um, green to go over top, mm -hmm. so that it doesn't look like that. Well, it just looks like it's uh... okay. Oh, <laughs> caught it! That looks really <laughs> okay. So let's do some dark greens. Let's just get in there one at a time. I wouldn't do three, oh, okay. one at a time, and start doing what Nan's doing here. Just work it up. Because we're wiping it out, right? It's just taking it. Those oils are going to, as soon as you grab your cloth, watch, watch what happens. It mutes it. So it looks like they're not there? Exactly. Good. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now I can start. No. There. So, we're getting there. Let's see. Actually, that looks good. I would go in the same direction, up and down. Hmm. I've been going that, sideways the, gray, the whole yeah. time. That's all right. And I go really dark. Your darkest green may be that one, and a bit of black. I've Even already navy. done really dark. I'm going to put some navy in here, straight up. And then the tree will actually make it. I want all kinds of color in, in here. There we are. That's with some navy. Alright, so let's go with, um, I am going to do, instead of that tree, I'm going to do some evergreens here. I think I'm going to do one giant tree in the middle. You're going to do a tree? Yes. Good, I'm going to do evergreens. Just, just like this. And with the oils, some brown, I'm going to add a little bit of this on one side so it looks like the sun is hitting it. There we are. I'm not and good at drawing. Yes, you sure. Take this, watch. When you bring it, when you bring this down with the mineral spirits, look at this. How nice that looks. Exactly. Follow it out exactly how you did it. And I am going to take, can I use yours? I'm going to make the background lighter, so I'll just grab some of this into the sun. Like so. Circles. Circles, circles. Even for the branches? Well, you can, because remember I did the dots? That looks really nice. Look at Olivia's. See how pretty that looks? Like lone tree. I love it. And circles with your odorless mineral spirits on the stump. It's taking the wax, the oil. I'll make another tree in the background just with circles. You're going to keep going, honey, with the dots. Remember we did the dot tree? So all we did was go like this to make those. We're going to do all kinds of greens all the way through there. And then some. Like that, yep. Yeah. Just keep some red. Exactly. You keep pounding on that. And you won't believe how nice that's going to look. Okay, so... Okay. And 
Then we're going to stamp an image and we're going to do some watercolors. But I just wanted to show you that there is different mediums that you can use like this um, pastels if you have them. I was just in the office supply store and I picked, uh, I saw them there and I thought I could remember using these years ago. Yellow. Yeah. Dripped okay. all over my card, the it's all right. stuff. There you go. Oh, you're gonna try and make it like really seep into it. That looks good. Now, if you took this, let me just show you. And blotched it. Mm -hmm. We're just showing you a whole lot of things you could do. <laughs> and then when you do this, you can then make some circles okay. around. Bring that tree way out there into your clouds. Your clouds look really nice. Let's, uh, why don't you grab, where's the gray and outline your clouds a little bit? There we go. There we go. Okay. You just keep working at it and I'll keep working at mine here. I added some yellows to the left hand side. And a squiggly line. I mean, that's all you need. Okay, then uh, can I draw brown. some apples? That'd be nice. You can draw whatever. That's your drawing. That's your drawing. This is Nan's drawing. Okay. And then I'm grabbing some odorless mineral spirits here and wiggling that out. You can see how I'm doing it. It's like um, nothing spectacular. I like that cloud right there. That's looking good. Now, um, that's our trees up in there. That's good because once you get, put some um, black kind of around the edges. So when you go like this with I, them. I can't, it disappears. Oh, does it? Okay, can I grab some of that? Here, I'll use my giant one. Huh? Are you want to do? Okay. Let's take that in there. Now I'm trying to see, I want a horizon back there. I want to be able to see some mountains back in there. Just use your imagination. I mean, um, the person receiving it, oh, and I want to add some gray, some dark up to the top. Uh, it's going to have mountains back there. Mountains are going to have white on them. Looks good. Something is missing down here. Mine's done. You finished already? Good. Look at it, ripped apart the paper. It's okay. Alright, I'm back to doing my rubbing here. out some of those trees and we would just call it a card if um, unless I see something on the bottom I want to have I know what I want to have I want to have a little bit of shadow like that oh I should be zoomed in Let's zoom in on our cards Olivia there we are Then you have all colors. Okay, and then take the white again. And this is how quick we made cards. I 
just want my white to stand out just a little bit. Thanks, Olivia. There we are. All my mountains. So they're not all the same. There we are. Olivia, are you going to look for some cardstock? There we go. Mm -hmm. So, you can put more trees, less trees. I lost my tree here, so I'm going to start. I'll put some what darker. What color background? Uh, whatever you think. This is the beauty of uh, pastels. It's true. There we go. So we have a little. Oh, gotta come out. Let's see. I'll take this. And there's Olivia's apple tree in a field. Looks good, Olivia, with her pastels. And that looks like the sun coming up in the background. It doesn't take very long. This would have taken no time at all, but we were gabbing. And uh, so just get yourself a stump to work with. And we just took these with our file to take the color off and just go around and around and get your point back on when you're done. And grab some mineral spirits. Sorry, I closed it. It's okay. There we go. And we'll do one with the flower. I think trees look nice like this. So we have this one, some darker ones coming up. There we are. Let's put it behind a, I mean, totally different. You have evergreens on a beautiful sunset with some cloud in there. You have an orchard with some colored, just dotting. All this was was just taking your oil pastels and dotting them all over with all different colors like so and then some oh yellows for sure and put some on the bottom so it looks like some of the leaves have fallen there you go mm -hmm. you have a few little birds in the sky and you have yourself a nice little oil painting pastels oil pastels and then and we a little, have an apple tree a beautiful apple tree and it turned out well so thanks so much for joining us and I'll go download it and we will put them on. Um, you See how this looks so nice on that background? Just like that. So pretty, Olivia. We did it. We just took a few of our pastels and these are Stadler uh, products. And uh, look at all of the hues of color in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And to get that sun type looking thing there, just spill some... Um, mineral spirits on there so your gam salt just drop it on there until it comes out in your paper and then go over it with white and you have yourself a beautiful sun in the background so there you have it using your oil pastels six dollar set i will show you the set here and olivia and i are going to press on to another card because we have the rest of the day to make cards don't we olivia so let's say goodbye bye Bye. <laughs>